Good afternoon, CHS. I'm Marcos Guada. And I'm Courtney Kushner, and you're watching Inc. TV. And today we'll be recapping all of the major events that took place in December up until now. Starting off with CHS's annual career day hosted by Skills USA on December 8th. Let's go to Jillian Lynch with more information. Hi, I'm Jillian Lynch, and I have the inside scoop on career day. On Friday, December 8th, the club Skills USA welcomes 17 speakers with a variety of jobs, such as journalists, marketing directors, and even the mayor of Belmar into school to speak. After six sessions of being able to choose which speaker to go to, all the students gathered together to listen to the keynote speaker, Chelsea Whitmore, the producer of Kennedy on the Fox Business Network. That's all for today, CHS. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Jillian. In the months leading up to December, CHS students prepared for the annual winter drama production. Evan Quo has the scoop. On December 1st and 2nd, the CHS Drama Club performed It's a Wonderful Life for their annual winter production. The play took place in the CHS cafeteria with the set, lighting, and sound all designed by the drama club. The play was directed by Lara Graney and produced by Izzy Cavazzoni. The play was adapted from the 1946 movie by the same name. It follows the life of George Bailey as he considers committing suicide and the aftermath that follows. The role of George was played by senior John Slovak for his seventh show with the club. We asked him about his experience acting in the play. Yeah, the play was a great time. I mean, it was pretty stressful because I had like like 350 lines, but uh, it ended up turning really, turning really great, and uh, everyone had a great time. And next spring will probably be an even better show because there will be a lot more parts available for everyone. For Ink TV, I'm Evan. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Evan. CHS invited Dr. Michael Fallon to the school on December 11th for a school-wide assembly. Bridget Garrett has the story. I put you on a different track. On Monday, December 11th, Michael Fallon came to give a presentation to CHS students. His show incorporated skits, stories, and motivational speaking to promote inclusion, kindness, and respect throughout our student body. Afterwards, he stayed through lunch to speak to students with comments about his presentation. For Inc. TV, I'm Bridget Garrett. Thanks, Bridget. As the months went on, fitness teacher Ginny Clevenger has organized a music program during lunch for students to partake in. Let's go to Bridget McCarthy for the rest of the story. Mondays this December, students of all grade levels gathered for some relaxed, unplugged musical performances put on by other students. These meetings are called Musical Mindful Mondays. They were started by fitness teacher Ginny Clevenger. Why did I decide to start Musical Mindful Mondays? Kieran Varian, in two words, um, he mentioned to me that some kids at CHS were unable to either participate in or go to coffee house, so we decided let's do something in school then. Have these gatherings gotten a positive response? Well, last week was the first time we did it, and we had about 50 kids come in during lunch, and right now we're in the midst of our second week, and I counted at about 40 in there. Um, my committee has done a great job recruiting. Why is it important for teens to practice mindfulness? Well, it's not just important for teens, it's important for everybody. We should all be conscious of what we say, what we do, our actions. We should be mindful of everything that we do every day, and just be kind and nice to each other. The music has a lot big effect on my um, mood and stress levels. When I'm listening to music, I'm a lot calmer, and it just gets me into like this kind of zen mode. And also, when I'm listening to like, good music, it makes me a lot happier. Yes, I love coming to music in my home. I think it gives me time to relax and also listen to music at the same time. Basically, what she said, I love it because like the music is great, and it's just cool to see like everyone's talents. These days, teen stress levels are on the rise, but it's evident that things as simple as downtime and music and friends can combat them. For Inc. TV, I'm Bridget McCarthy. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Bridget. Heading into winter break, Bella Maddock got the chance to see what CHS students have planned for their week off. Hi, I'm Bella Maddock, and this hall call, I'm asking CHS students what their plans are for Christmas break. I'm probably going to sit on my couch all Christmas break. That's it. I'm going on vacation with my family over Christmas break to Barbados. Over Christmas break, I will be catching up on sleep and probably going to the city. I'm actually skipping school on the Friday before break starts, and my mom and I are flying to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we're skiing until, we're skiing there, until the 27th, then we fly back and we go straight up to my condo in Vermont, and we're skiing some more. That's all for today, CHS. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Bella. In January, students had a lot of time off due to snow days. Both teachers' and students' opinions on snow days seem to differ. 
Let's go to Michael Rao to see what CHS thinks about snow days. Uh, snow days are my favorite days, so I don't mind having them even if I get like days taken out because I would rather have days added on and be able to like enjoy the snow when it's cozy and it's nice out. At the time, I was glad that we had the snow days, but now that we have the other two days off that would have been long weekends, I'm pretty annoyed that we have to come to school. I think snow days are a good break from school. I really I really like snow days uh, in general really, for the past couple ones, what I've been doing, I've just been getting my pots and pans and I've been cooking up a nice mean little, little pot of chili and it's really great, a nice warm meal on a cold day to really warm my bones and just fill my tummy. Like we'll have to cut off part of the break, but uh, I mean that's fine, I had fun. I like snowballs. Yeah. As CHS rung in the new year throughout the month of January, Bridget McCarthy got to asking students about their resolutions for the upcoming year. Let's go see what they have to say. Hi, my name is Bridget McCarthy, and today I'm asking CHS students what they think of New Year's resolutions. Um, my New Year's resolution is just to be happier and healthier. You know, just kind of go with the flow. Don't let anything stress me out. I did not because I don't believe I'll change after a day. I don't, did not make any New Year's resolutions because I don't plan on changing anything about myself. I'm perfect the way I am. Um, I made one New Year's resolution and that was just to get into college and just because I want to go to college. I did not make any New Year's resolutions this year because um, I couldn't think of any. Thanks, Bridget. As the month went on, students not only prepared for finals, but the, also their classes next marking period. Liam Marshall got the chance to talk to students about their plans for second semester. My name is Liam Marshall and I got the chance to ask CHS students whether they're excited for the upcoming semester. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm, exci I'm excited to start the next semester because I'm excited to start new classes. I'm sort of excited for the new semester. I think it's going to be like a little tough since they're my classes that I'm not so strong in, so, but I'm excited for a new start. I'm pretty excited for the new semester because I'll be in college and then I don't really have to care about anything that I do um, because my grades won't matter anymore. Yes, because I will have new classes. Um, I'm a little apprehensive about it, but I'm keeping an open mind because I do have physics next semester. I've heard a lot of horror stories about that. But other than that, got stuff like design, which I've heard pretty good things about. Uh, Miss Lane, I've never had her before. Heard great things about her too. So I'm trying to stay positive, but physics is like the wild card for this one. I am excited for the new semester because I have all my easy classes next semester. I'm going to be done with physics and math, so I'm pumped. Signing off for Inc. TV, I'm Liam Marshall. Thanks, Liam. Well, that's all the time we have for today, CHS. Thanks for tuning in to this month's episode of Inc. TV. I'm Marcos Gavada. And I'm Courtney Kushner. See you in February.